minute recap of, of what's been going on in your life t today. Uh, today, what's going on? Uh, well, I got two kids, one in college, one in high school. Uh, my boy's in high school, a junior, playing for the basketball team. Uh, I'm helping out a little bit with the team, and uh, you know, so that takes up a lot of time. He plays a lot of AU ball in the summer. Uh, I don't have any any serious jobs. I take care of some properties. Uh, you know, got a couple hobbies, and that's about it. Coming back here, what's it make you feel? Uh, well, it's, it, it brings back a lot of good memories. Uh, you know, you see people you haven't seen in forever. You know, catching up with people, talking about the old times, and uh, you know, it, it's it's really nostalgic, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, it's good to see the changes. I mean, the McCann is looking great. The new office is looking great. You know, glad to have uh, Coach Bauer back here with the program. I know he's excited about it, and so is everybody else. So. Yeah. What about um, when you came here, first came here to Maris, you know, you're coming to another country to play basketball, you never really knew if you're going to make it to the NBA and then become the kind of star that you became in the NBA, did you? Uh, well, no, it, uh, it, was, it was a big adventure coming over here and the NBA really never crossed my mind uh, until we played uh, in the NCAA tournament. We, we played uh, Georgia Tech. And a couple of those guys went on to make the NBA, and I, you know, I done pretty well against them. And I thought, hey, you know, maybe the NBA is a possibility for me. But uh, certainly, you know, back in the Netherlands, you know, I just wanted to come to college and play some basketball. You know, and come come to the United States. So uh, it, it did not start till my, my end of my second year, sophomore year, that I actually started thinking about the NBA. And then to become one of the best centers in the NBA, I mean, that's got to be a thrill for you that you'll have forever. So, well, I don't, I, I wouldn't go that far. You're you know. modest. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was a great time, you know, made a great living, you know, got to see uh, all of the United States and then some, you know, it, uh, it was a good career. I had fun, enjoyed it, was glad to be in Indiana for 12 years. It's something I'm kind of proud of. You know, these days guys travel around so much between yeah. teams. You know, that alone, that alone is, is, is something that I, uh, you know, I'll treasure. And what's your son make of all this? Uh, he's just taking it in stride. You know, he's he's been rec being recruited right now by a bunch of colleges, but uh, he's, he's he's all taking it in stride. He has, he has no idea what he wants to do or where he wants to go next year. He's just concentrating on high school basketball right now. Does he have his father's height? Uh, he's seven foot. Uh, he's 17. Hopefully, he's still growing. Uh, I would love to watch, you know, look at him eye to eye. You know, I'm still looking down at him a little bit. I, you know, I give him static about it every day. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I, it'd be awesome if he'd be the same height as me. But I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not. Yeah. Great. Thanks for spending some time with us. Anytime. Good to see you again. Good to see you too.